Hi everyone, my name is Rafi Sayed. And my name is Areto Echevarria. And we're here speaking to you from Miramar, Wellington, New Zealand, um, also known as Aotearoa, Land of the Long White Cloud. Yeah, and we're the writer-director writer team behind Minimum Mass. And we wanted to talk to you a little bit about where Minimum Mass came from, um, some of our influences, and why, um, and a little bit about French art making and how it figures into this process for us. Um, the starting point of Minimum Mass was a very personal story. It's our story of conception, um, the journey leading into it, the, the, the messy middle, and then some of the um, just making sense of it as a narrative arc. So we wrote, a, we wrote a short script and we submitted it to the Sundance New Frontier Lab and they really liked what we were trying to do, which is tell a really personal story and do it in virtual reality. Why did we do it in virtual reality? Um, why did we do it in virtual re reality? Well, I think, you know, my well, my interest has always been um, film and video games. Like, I, I really love these two, two mediums. And um, virtual reality came along, and I was really intrigued by this possibility um, to explore a new design language for a new media. So I was not so interested in the technology, although the technology is certainly very interesting, um, and a lot of our research revolves around the technology but really this question of how do you create a new design language for a new medium is what interests me specifically about VR. And for us a love of games, playing games and a love of cinema, watching cinema. Both of us come from a background of feature film visual effects which is partially why we're here in New Zealand mm. um, and what we really wanted to do is try to push the visual fidelity of virtual reality in a cinematic photographic way and so one of our early influences was the american photographer todd hito who does these really beautiful evocative um, photos of suburban landscapes and then of course rotorua new zealand itself which is a unearthly place here in New Zealand, uh, also very evocative, and we knew that we wanted to set the story in Rotorua, and that Rotorua would be like a portal to exploring other stuff like black holes, which is a speculative component of the story. So really, the design language, the early concepting was about um, the photographic quality, pushing realism um, in storytelling, in virtual reality, and then trying to represent the beauty of Rotorua, New Zealand, um, and the feeling of being there. Yeah, and I think we're both, you know, we're both really interested in this idea of um, high concept and low concept stuff mashed up, you know, like uh, literature mixed up with genre, I think is a really interesting space. and. Um, that's 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 the the flavor that we've tried to convey with this piece is um, it's a quite a serious topic, but we've chosen to approach it in this um, with this sci-fi kind of genre approach to it. Um, and early on, when we were at the Sundance Labs, we met Arnaud from the Atlas V Group, and he was like a really supportive mentor of the project. And from there, we went to LA, we went to Kaleidoscope's Dev Lab, and we met. Khatayun Dibamer, who came on as our co-producer. So we've had a lot of great support from the French creative VR community in making this project. Khatayun is, of course, our co-producer in France. And I think that's really wonderful for this project because for us, the tradition of French art making has been so influential in our careers. Um, right back to Millier's being the godfather of visual effects. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why the tradition of French animation and storytelling um, has been so important to me personally as a filmmaker going to film school in LA in the late 90s and learning about the French New Wave was just kind of my road to Damascus when it comes to filmmaking because you have these filmmakers who started as theorists and critics really wanted to understand what they were saying what 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 is cinema language and then becoming filmmakers and ex the, that, that tradition, that spirit of experimentation that is so um, uh, at the core of French filmmaking, I think is really what virtual reality and extended reality is about. Yeah, and I think the, um, the French people and the French government obviously place a lot of value on um, culture um, as an important part of you know, life experience. And I think that's certainly evident in the amount of focus 
that there is present and importance put put on filmmaking and, and animation specifically in France and I think that's really inspirational um, and it's certainly something we're trying to do here in New Zealand is like take some of these uh, ideals about why culture is important and, and, and bring it you know it, push it further into society here yeah yeah so thank you so much for um giving us a chance to talk to you and uh, inviting us into Annecy and into the French art making community, extended reality community, and we hope to see you on the other side. Yeah, thank you very much.